speaker is Sarah Marie Struble. I'm sorry, first. <laughs> Marissa has homeschooled since kindergarten and has spent her senior year at Parker Community College where she has earned 27 college credits and a 4.0 GPA. She is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and has been awarded the presidential grant for academic achievement. She has been employed by Harford County Public Library for three years. Marissa. Good morning, and thank you all for coming and supporting us graduates as we celebrate the culmination of our homeschool education. As I contemplated what I wanted to say on this special day, I realized that I could stand before you and say, look at what I have done, look at what I have accomplished, look at my future, look at me. That, however, would be a false representation. So instead, I stand before you and say, Look at what the Lord has allowed me to accomplish. Look at what the Lord has enabled me to do. Look at the future that the Lord has given me, and look at the Lord through me. God's enabling grace has brought me through the last 17 years of my life and the past 12 years of schooling. He has placed many people in my path to bring me to where he has me now. My education did not take place in the local public school system, but rather in my home. The Lord placed a burden on my parents' hearts to homeschool my siblings and me, and I am so glad that they listened to the Lord's calling. Dad, thank you so much for guiding our home in the ways of the Lord. Thank you for all your sacrifices on my behalf. You go out to work every day and labor so that Mom can stay home with us. I have always taken what you do for granted, but I want you to know that I am thankful. Also, thank you for all the family devotions, fishing and boating trips, hikes, and memories. I love you. Mom, where would I be if you hadn't spent all those hours in your basement as a little girl teaching your imaginary class? You are a wonderful teacher, not only in the academics, but also in the spiritual realm. You have also taught me many lessons on how to be a submissive wife, a good homemaker, and a loving mother. You are amazing. You not only endured my tears over my lessons, but also my stubborn heart towards them. I am sorry for all the hours it took me to accept that A plus B does in fact equal C, and for every time that I wished that I could go to public school. Thank you for making learning fun and creative. I remember all the field trips, crafts, and co-ops, as well as the lessons that went with them. Thank you for giving up your dreams for me, and for doing it with all the love in your heart. I love you. Erin, well, have we changed. We have gone from worst enemies to best friends. I still say that you deserve the two times I bit you in bed that Dad tells everyone about, <laughs> but I love you deeply. I look forward to many more girl talks in bed and inside jokes that only we share. I love you. Jesse, every time I look at you, I'm sure you've grown another inch. You have gone from the little boy who wore sweatsuits all the time to the handsome, godly young man you are today. I have to thank you for all your patience with me. Being the only boy of four girls, you have endured a lot, but I wouldn't trade you for any girl. I love you. Chris and Gianna, you are both the spitting image of Aaron and myself, and I hope and pray that you would both follow our examples as we follow after Christ. I remember Mom and Dad telling me, Krista, when you were going to be born, and there was never a happier girl than me. I'm so glad you came along too, Gianna, and I'm excited that we are graduating together. I love you both. Papa, I thank God that I am Italian. <laughs> I am so proud of my blood heritage. However, I am ever so much more thankful for our godly family. I want you to know that I treasure every prayer that you say. Mama, you are an amazing grandmother. Thanks for taking all of us grandkids in the back and giving us godly counsel. I love you both. To my church family and friends, my pastors, Pastor Hartling, Pastor Brent, Pastor Gray, and the late Pastor Wilson, thank you all for being faithful men who have cared for my soul for the past eight years. The minor family. Mr. Tom, thank you for letting us practically live at your house. Miss Maria, I love you. What can I say? 
Thanks for all of the food, teaching, and hugs. Tom, thanks for being a great older brother. Justin, thanks for letting me tease you all the time. Hopi, you are a great sister and friend. Mr. Bert Lacey, I hope that we will continue to have our secret handshake for many more years to come. Hannah, I have no idea how your parents knew, but when they named you Hannah Joy, they got it right. You have brought so much wonderful laughter into my life. I love you, girl. Dan, I am so thankful to God for our friendship. Thank you for all the chin-up pep talks and laughs, but more importantly, for the spiritual exhortations and encouragements. To the numerous friends that the Lord has blessed me with, thank you for all being there for me, and I am grateful for you. <clears throat> to my fellow graduates, we are the largest graduating class of TCA of all time. That is so exciting. <laughs> but I am so glad that I've had the privilege of growing up with you and now standing up here with you today. I have waited a long time to stand before you all in this cap and gown, but as the time drew closer and is now here, I began to realize the full impact of what it means. To the world, I am now an adult, ready to make my own decisions about my life. The future, although it holds excitement, can also be terrifying, since I will be venturing out into the unknown. My parents' wisdom has guided me to go to Harvard Community College this past year, and I'm going to continue there until next spring, when I hope to graduate with my general studies degree. Lord willing, I will then transfer to Towson University as a junior, where I will pursue a Bachelor of Arts in elementary education. Now, as I walk off this platform, I hope that you do not just applaud me, but praise the Lord for all of his kindness.